Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my review on the Protec Malibu. So this is a knife that's been around for probably a year now, maybe a little less. And um, this one right here is basically my channel mascot, right? If you look at my logo, it's basically hanging out like this against a beer glass, which I don't have. Today I have a LaCroix, drinking coconut LaCroix, trying to be a little more responsible. And um, this knife is just amazing. I've had a couple of these. Um, and I, I've been meaning to do the review for a while, but I just had so many other things come in. And I had this for a while before I started the channel. So I just didn't really put it together yet. And um, so I want to do it now and give you guys my thoughts on this knife. Um I want to start by telling you how I heard about this knife. So the first time I ever saw a Malibu was on Slicey Dicey's channel. And he had gotten the Warren Cliff version. Um, and I guess he got it from ProTech early or whatever. Um, and I didn't like it at all. I thought it was an ugly, just awkward looking knife that was right hand only with a button lock. Um right hand only button lock and it just didn't appeal to me that much right um and then you know a couple maybe a month goes by or two and jake from bearded gear shout out to jake you guys know he's like a brother to me uh, i love the guy and i like a lot of things he likes we have similar tastes um and that's just kind of how it goes but he got a black reverse Tonto Malibu, right? And when I saw that one, my interest was peaked a little bit more because this blade design is way, 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 way nicer looking than that Warren Cliff was. I just, I thought that Warren Cliff was so ugly. Um, and I didn't understand why everybody was like drooling over the Malibu early on, right? Um, and I hadn't really been introduced that much to button lock flippers at that point. And I saw Jake's video on it and I was like, Ooh, that's actually really nice, but it's right hand only. And at the time I was still kind of sticking to my guns on having a reversible clip or a lefty knife. Right. And I figured, you know, with the button lock and everything, how's that going to work? So more time went on and obviously the Malibu just blew up. Everybody was raving about it, trying to get them, couldn't get one anyway, right? And eventually I had, or I asked Jake if he would send me his and I wanted to check it out. And he sent me a batch of knives. He sent me the Quiet Carry Waypoint, the Giant Mouse, excuse me, Ace Grand. And he sent me his black, reverse Tonto Malibu, right? And I absolutely fell in love with all three of those knives. Well, the Waypoint and the Malibu, the Grand, I didn't love when he first sent it to me. It like slowly grew on me as time went on. That's another story. Um, but I absolutely loved the Malibu when I got it. It just is so much fun to play with. And I... I just assumed being left-handed, it would be different. It wouldn't be like that. It would be less fun. It would be hard to disengage. Um, carrying it in pocket would be awkward. All of those things went through my mind. But they just vanished when I got this knife in hand for the first time. And I, I just, I wanted one so bad. And at that point... They were just impossible to get, you know. Um, if you saw them pop up on the secondary, they cost, you know, they, they, they never went like sky high price wise to like where a $200 knife was selling for $350, $400, like you see a lot. But they were going for a little over retail and they would just vanish instantly. They would show up on Knife Swap and people would drop a note in like, I was here first, could have got it. And then they drop a note in that said like eight seconds and counting. And I swear th to this day, Malibus don't last more than a minute 
on knife swap without being bought. Um, so I really wanted one and it took about a month and PVK Vegas had a pre-order that they didn't really advertise as a pre-order. It's a little, you know, uh, but I paid for the knife up front and then I found out it wasn't shipping until a week later, which whatever. And then it was delayed a week and whatever. So I eventually got a black handled reverse Tonto, right? Stonewashed blade um, and a stonewashed clip. I got that and oh man, I was so happy. I finally got one, right? Um, and then I think a month after that, I had already been signed up on Blade HQ for this model, the blue with the reverse Tonto. And I got a notification, hey, they're available. And I bought one right away, right? And so now I had two. And I started loaning out my black one to people because uh, it's good to have two of these because people want to check it out. So you send one out and then you still have one to play with. Um, and recently I sold my black one. And I just, I don't know, I just figured at this point the hype has died down a little now, people who want one have one. I'm not going to be sending it out a lot more. And I could use that 200 bucks to fuel other things for the channel, right? So this is the one I have now because I absolutely love this blue color. Um, I love the stonewash blade on here. I love that it has this chrome satin clip with the button that matches and the hardware. It just looks amazing. And it's in my logo now, so... It was a no-brainer to keep this one. Um, and I am totally stoked to see what they do in the future in terms of blade shapes and stuff like that. They've already done two. Why not do a drop point or do uh, something else? I don't know. But a Tonto, oh, that would be cool, right? Um, but anyway, so that's the background on it, the long background. So aesthetically, right, we're looking at a clean aluminum handle here with this stonewash 20 CV reverse Tonto blade. Again, you have this kind of chromed out satin uh, hardware and it just looks amazing with a button lock and a flipper. And there's a little bit of jimping on the button lock and or on the flipper. And that is the only place on this knife you will find jimping, right? You have this kind of backspacer thing, but I wouldn't call that jimping. Um, so aesthetically, this thing is just gorgeous. Uh, it just stands out to me. This this blade is the reason why. With that warny blade, I was like, ooh. But with this blade, man, this thing looks good. So ergonomically, it's very simple, but it has a little swell here for your index finger or choil, and it fits perfectly in my hand. It is almost small, but it's not quite small. I have a large glove size hand to XL, and it just fits. Um, I've heard a lot of people say if you have larger glove size hands, or <laughs> larger gloves, larger hands, uh, check out the Mordax, because it's supposed to have very similar action and everything, but it's bigger. So um, if you do, if you're a bigger guy or have bigger hands, if you're Kyle, um, check out the Mordex. That's probably more for you. Or the uh, Spartan Payless is a good one. Um, but anyway, yeah, ergonomically, this thing is just very neutral, very comfortable. It does not have a forward finger choil, which I think would be amazing on this thing. There's no jimping up here on the blade. But regardless of all of that, it just is very comfortable and neutral. Um, it's not the most amazing ergonomics but it's very good um, i don't have any issues with it so great on the ergos action on this knife is incredible this is the selling point the crown jewel of the malibu is the action protec has dialed in a button lock detent like no other i've felt before so if i go to the break point it always flies out. You know, you see there, it doesn't like rock it out, but it breaks all the way. And normally I'm giving it a little more and playing like this, right? 
giving it the light switch, and it shoots out all the way like a rocket. It's amazing, right? Um, and you can push button it. It's not as easy, but it works just as well, right? The closing action on this knife, oh, it's just one of a kind. That button lock is so smooth. You push it in and it just drops. And sometimes it bounces off. It's, oh, I just love it so much. And you can do it where you just hit the button. Like I, I always hold the button, right? And then it kind of bounces off and then seat tone. But if you just push the button, it'll fall down and then it suck it in. So I'll, I'll try to do it here. It's a little harder for me. See that? So I push the button and let go. So you can do it that way. You don't have to let it bounce off like I do. But I like letting it bounce off. I just like the sounds it makes and everything. It's just fun. Um, but you don't have to do that. And you can see here it's complete, completely free falling with that button in. Um, just amazing. Action on this thing, phenomenal. 10 out of 10, right? Uh, carry. So this is interesting. As a lefty, I've always said this is the knife that broke me to carrying right-handed knives. And now I have a slew of them, right? Because um, I realized that carrying a knife that's right-handed in my left front pocket does not mean that I just, you know, lost my leg or something. Like, it's not the end of the world. You can carry a right-handed knife in your left pocket. Um, I do get more concerned with flippers because you could push against the seam and pop it out and then stick your hand in, right? But this detent is strong enough that I don't really worry about that. I've never had that issue. Um, but I do prefer it with, like, thumb studs or a hole deployment because then you, you really have no risk of having it open but it works with some flippers um but most flippers i'll carry in my back left pocket instead so it's still on the left side but the blade is now facing the seam right so anyway carry this clip is amazing it almost goes all the way to the butt of the knife basically does it is inset into the scale and then the screws are countersunk. There is no better clip than this, in my opinion. It goes in and out of pocket like a dream. It has enough tension to not worry about it, but not too much tension that you have an issue. It's just amazing. The only thing that would be better is if they had given you a reversible option. Because, in my opinion, this knife is basically ambidextrous. Yeah, I'm using my index finger instead of my thumb on the button lock. But it works just as well left-handed, if not better, honestly, than right-handed. So I wish they had done that. I've been working with someone on tapping this and, and, and mounting screws on the other side of a Malibu. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm not really getting anywhere on that. Uh, so yeah, carry, amazing. Ergo's, solid. Action, phenomenal right aesthetics great cutting this is 20 cv blade you have a flat grind that goes all the way down right well most of the way down and an interesting thing to note here is in the first run of the malibus they were a bit thick behind the edge i think they were like 25 thousandths behind the edge or so uh, they still had a good grind but they weren't the best slicers. The the you know the runs after that, the second and third runs, whatever, they have thinned out the edge a lot. I would say this is in the teens. Let's just call it like fifteen thousand to seventeen thousandths behind the edge. Um, it is a much better slicer than the first run was, um, and it just cuts through. Paper, cardboard, cuts through everything like butter. Um, this tip on a reverse Tonto is just amazing for getting into packages because you can just drop the tip in and slice and you're good to go. Um, it saves a lot of the edge from being used on things like that because you're just using the tip. Um, it's a very good blade shape, very good cutter. 
20 CV I have no issue with, and I trust Protec with their heat treat. So, uh, very good on cutting as well. So, value is where we're going to end up here, guys. My final thoughts, recommendations, and value. So, this is a $200 knife, basically. 189 to 200 you'll see them at, right? Uh, new. And on the secondary, you see them anywhere from, you know, 190 to 230-ish. Um, this knife is incredible for the money. I mean, in this day and age where your people are paying three, four hundred dollars for knives that I would call much less quality than this. And this is an American made product. This is 100% manufactured in America with American steel, right? Um, this is made by Protec in their California shop. Um, and it's 200 bucks. Yeah, it's aluminum handles instead of titanium. Other than that, everything is as premium as most of the knives you'll get, right? Um, and this aluminum is done so well. It is so comfortable. It has this really good feel to it. Um, yeah, it's slightly slick if, you, if your hands are wet or whatever. To me, I've never had an issue with that, but I have heard that uh, complaint before. Um, and titanium actually would add weight. They have titanium models of this, but it adds like two ounces. So I prefer the aluminum. Um, the value is amazing. $200 for this knife, in my opinion, is a steal. They could easily sell these for $300, and I'm pretty sure I still would have bought two. You know? Um, recommendations. So if you're left-handed and you don't mind a righty clip, or you're willing to give it a shot for the first time, please buy a Malibu. Just try it. You'll absolutely love it. And if for some random reason you don't like it, you'll be able to sell it in a heartbeat. So please, I beg of you, try this knife if you're left-handed. Don't be me and stick to your guns for six months and miss out on such an amazing knife. Uh, when you can try it right away. So if you get a chance, get one. Right-handed, this is a no-brainer. I mean, it's a no-brainer lefty or righty, but right-handed, it's even more of a no-brainer. You need one of these in your collection. Unless it's too small. It's the only caveat to this. You know, it's a 3.3-inch blade. So probably an equivalent handle. It's probably, I don't know, a 7-inch knife. I'm not good at specs, so don't hold me to that. Just look it up. Um, but if you don't get this, get a Mordex, okay? You need a Protec button lock in your life. So uh, Protec Malibu is amazing. I love it. Um, I will get more of these as new models and blade shapes and configurations come out. So that's it, guys. That's the review on the Protec Malibu. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.